welcome to today's session. Um, I really appreciate, appreciate for your uh, participation today. And nice to meet you. My name is Robbie. I'm in charge of the regional sales manager for the Japan market. For me, this is the last session, so I'm very happy now. And I can relax and have some rest after the session. But I'll say I'm even happier to see you all through these, this event. And this is my honor to explain our solution to you today. I think we could, we could have met each other in Seoul this year. But due to the COVID-19 situation, we have to meet you guys online. So we really miss every one of you and look forward to meeting face-to-face -face soon. But until then, let us stay safe and healthy. Anyway, today I'm here to here with you to talk about Spruma Mobile Access. Here is the uh, contents that I'm going to talk about today. I'm sure that some of you already got to know about our solution from the previous webinars. But I'd like to explain once again today so that you will never forget. So firstly, I'd like to discuss what Spruma Mobile Access is. It has been almost three years that we've been working on the mobile access solution. And there have been lots of changes to our platform and hardware. So it will be very meaningful to review again how the system configuration works and what kind of licenses we have and how it works with our Spice 2 or the third party system. Next, I'll be telling you some of the key advantages of our solution how our solution is different from others, why ours is good, and how the mobile access can help our customers. And then, even though we have just released our solution very recently, we are already having some successful reference, references coming from the global market. So I'll share with you some of those case references. And lastly, before we close, we will have the time for Q&A. And during my presentation, you're free to leave any questions. And uh, our team will do their best to answer all of the questions. OK, first, let's talk about what is Supreme Mobile Access. Um, first of all, I'd like to talk about our brand name. We call our mobile access solution Airfog as a brand name. We use the word air symbolizing wireless, remote, and cloud, and FOB as in key FOB. The AirFOB system consists of the AirFOB Pass, the application, AirFOB Portal, and the Barsa 2 system. AirFOB Pass is the mobile application that is going to be used as a key or an ID card for the access control system. It is available both iOS and Android smartphones. Airfa Portal is the cloud portal site that you can issue the Airfa Pass application through email or SMS, or it can manage the license card credit stock. The Airfa Portal is a cloud-based server. Bas basically, there are two types of portal sites. One is called Partner Portal. That is for the license stock management and generating license code that you can pass to your customers or partners. Another one is called the Alpha portal. But it is the portal site that uh, and the user would actually use to manage the user or the card. Barista 2 system will work as an access control system with Alpha. Barista 2 has been also integrated with the Alpha portal. So by just using Barista 2, you're able to issue or manage the air, uh, mobile access card. The readers available with the AirFOB is, in case of RFR readers, there are XPS2 and D2. For D2, it only works with the new hardware version, so you need to make sure whether it is mobile ready or not. Among the fingerprinted readers, BioLite N2 supports the uh, mobile access and the new version of Binary W2 now supports BMD. So both of the two models fully support the mobile access. For the face recognition readers, 
Uh, phases station two and phase light support the mobile access. And our latest face recognition reader, phase station F2, also supports the mobile access. Moving on now about the license, we have two types of licenses. It is based on the number of users or the number of devices. You can select the card type. The first one is regular card type. It is a very simple one. The credit is required based on the number of users. And there are two types of credits in this card type. The normal credit for the card issuance and the maintenance credit for reissuance. For example, let's say I'm an owner of Sprema, which will never happen in my life. But by the way, I have 100 employees. Then the credits I will need is going to be 100 credits. And if there are some clumsy employees like myself, uh, then I will need to prepare some maintenance cred credits in advance and use it for reissues. The key feature of the regular card type is that you can use it forever unless you uninstall the AirPod Pass application from your mobile phone. And also, this card does not require internet connection. So even though you lost the internet connection, you're still able to use it. But having said that, it only communicates with the portal site through the internet when you download the application only for the first time. So even though you change some of the user information, the changes will not be applied to the card. So to apply the changes, you need to reach the card. So it is something you need to be aware of. OK, the next one is dynamic card type. The dynamic card requires the credit based on the number of devices and the months of use. For example, I'm an owner of a sports center with two doors with a total four readers for in and out each door. And let's say I'm going to use this service for three years, I mean 36 months then the required credits are 144 credits. I can just purchase the 144 credits at once, or I can purchase and apply four credits for every month, just like the monthly subscription payment model. A key feature of the dynamic card type is there is no limitation of the card issuance or reissuance. So it would be very cost effective for places with just a few access points, but huge number of users that are changing really quickly, just like the sports center or some places for members management or visitor management. The card itself communicates with the portal site in real time. So when there are some points to modify, for example, the card design or wanting to add more information, then the changes will be applied immediately. Not only this, you can, you can terminate the card or temporarily pause the card from the portal. Then without actually meeting the users, you can take back the mobile access card from them or make it stop working. Then some of you may worry, what if my phone loses the internet connection temporarily? In case, in this case, you can still use the card for five minutes, but unfortunately, after the five minutes, you'll not be able to use the card. OK, the next one is the system structure. To use Sprema Mobile Access System, you need an access control system. It can be, of course, by statute or even the third party system. In case with the bar step two, of course, you need a Barista 2 server and readers at local. And basically, Barista 2 has been integrated with Airfoot Portal with its API. So with just a few clicks, you're able to synchronize the user information from Barista 2 to the Airfoot Portal. And also, you can uh, issue the card from here, too. Having said that, to use the Airfoot Portal integration, Barista 2 server has to be connected to the internet since the portal is located in the cloud server. 
In case you're using the third-party X control system, the API integration will make things much easier since you will be able to synchronize the user information and issue the card from the existing system too. But without integration, you are still able to use the Superma mobile access. Since the Airflow portal supports CSV import feature by just dragging and dropping the CSV file in the portal site, you'll have the all user information in the portal site and can issue the mobile access card very easily and quickly. However, there must be the Suprema readers should be connected through the RS485 or OSTP or Wigan interface. Since Airfork Pass is only compatible with our readers. So that is pretty much everything about Suprema Mobile Access System structure. And as I mentioned earlier, you're free to leave any questions during my presentation or our team behind me now working very hard and I'm following up to answer your, all of your questions in real time. So don't be shy to ask any questions to our team. OK, the next one, the key advantages of our uh, mobile solution. And here, I'd like to tell you how our, how our solution is different from others and why it is good and how we can help our customers. First of all, our solution is fast and easy. Our ultimate goal with this solution is providing the same speed as the plastic cards, but with a better usability. The combination of both Sprema Mobile, Sprema's own Bluetooth signal processing technology and our reader's high performance provides almost the same speed of RFID cards. But moreover, we do not need to do any additional actions like uh, twisting or tapping your mobile phone or touching the screen to control the application. What you need to do is only placing your mobile phone near to the reader and go, just like the plastic card that we have been using. Here, I'd like to show you a demo video, how easy it is. It is both a foreground and background mode. Just like the RFID cards, what you need to do is just placing your mobile phone near to the reader. And next point is uh, mobile access solution is touchless and contactless. After the COVID-19 situation, we got lots of inquiries in regards to touchless and contactless. But most of the people think of face recognition first. Indeed, the face recognition is one of the most promising touchless solutions. But the mobile access is a good solution for the customers who are looking for a touchless and contactless solution. For example, between the mobile phone and the Supreme Reader, it works with NFC and BLE communication. Definitely with these two methods, you do not need to touch anything. So in terms of the public sanitation, it will be much safer to use at this moment. Also, by using the long touch feature of the Airfa Pass application, you can access a bit further distance, like one to two, three meters. You may be wondering how to use the long touch features. So I prepared a demo video. Let's see how it works. So just like this video, uh, uh, by touching the application's screen a bit longer time, then um, the Airfa Pass application will transfer uh, the card ID through Bluetooth, and um, you will be able to make it open the door. So maybe it'll be interesting if we use it as a car access solution or as a car garage control, uh, garage gate control solution. And you can get the mobile access application. Uh, you do not need to meet someone. All of the process to issue the card and terminate the card can be done online. Next point is precise distance control. Even though we now love touchless and remote things, but it is very important 
your mobile access card only works at the right distance. Since the Bluetooth signal can reach up to 100 meters, it must be controlled very precisely. So mobile access card will not, will not open the door at a far distance without your willingness. Otherwise, it can cause a big, big security problem. But in our case, we have developed uh, the Bluetooth signal measuring algorithm. So it makes the mobile access card only works with the Sperma readers within 10 centimeters. How is it possible? Normally, to measure a distance through Bluetooth technology, we normally check the Bluetooth signal strength. For example, your mobile phone gets closer to the Bluetooth reader, and then you'll see a high value of the signal strength. But if you move your phone far away from the Bluetooth reader, then you'll get a lower value. So using this technology, um, the, uh, the mobile access card works, but you know, the IT things and this technology does not always work like uh, work as we want. So sometimes there are unexpected and deviated signals, and it happens to reach up to reach to the reader, then we will have a security system, a security situation. Sorry. So to pre prevent this happening in our technology, we have decided not to check the signal strengths. But our algorithm tries to see the strength change curve while the user gets closer to the reader. So with this algorithm, we are able to filter the unexpected unwelcome value and make it work in the right distance only. And here I prepared another demo video to show you uh, our application only works in the right distance. So while my phone was a bit further from the reader, it did not work. But um, after my phone was near to the reader, it reacted. So our system can secure the right distance and um, prevent the security si situation happening. Moving on next, another security story. Some people always worry about new technologies. And especially in our industry, when it is about the internet and a cloud-based one, then people worry more. But I'd like to say we do not need to worry too much about the security, since the Airflow portal and each ecosystem is certified by ISO 27001, which means the system is protecting the personal information very properly, and all of the communication routes are also encrypted. And next advantage is, is the freedom of card design. When you think of our, our exp experience with the plastic card, once the card design is decided, unless there is no dramatic change from the company, we have to use the card for a very long period of time. And for the small companies, buying a card printer or ordering the designed ID card would cost a lot. But with the Supreme Mobile Access, without a big cost, we can make our own card design or change the design very easily. Thanks to the Airfoot Portal's card template design editor, with the design editor, we can apply own background image or can add or remove the information on the card. And if you use Dynam card, all the changes is applied immediately. Here, as you can see, you can choose uh, from some choose some designs from our portal site, and also you can even make your own design too. And if you apply the, this design, then the card design on your phone will be changed in real time. And lastly, but most important point, Sprema's mobile access gives more choices to the customer. Under the Biosta 2 platform, customers can choose which credentials should be applied. For example, if there is an access point for a high security level, then we can suggest biometric readers. And for the normal doors, customers can choose the mobile access card 
Or perhaps the customer can decide to use the mobile access for the place for the visitor management. And for some regions, due to the GDPR issue, biometric information is not allowed to use for access control or time attendance system. So in this case, I believe we can suggest the mobile access card as an alternative because it does not include our biometric information and our mobile phone are something we always carry while we are awake. So it is, a, is the so solution with lots of pro protection for our personal information. So I wish the information I have introduced was very useful. And um, move on next. Uh, I'd like to introduce our case references. So even though we have just launched our mobile access solution to the market, uh, now we are beginning to see some references coming out. So I picked some cases to introduce to you, which these references can be useful when you introduce to your, uh, your partners or customers. First of all, let's start from Korea. Uh, there is a sports center named uh, the Club Villain. And it is the 24 and 365 open sports team. And they used to have the plastic membership card. But normally, uh, the users do not carry in the membership card. And, um, and purchasing the plastic membership card every month costs a lot. So we got the chance to replace the system to buy light N2 with our mobile access card. So by using the mobile access card and have users register their fingerprint, they did not need to uh, purchase the plastic card anymore, and they could save some money. And also for the users, they did not need to carry the plastic card, so both the owner and um, users are happy and more satisfied. In this site, we have installed 12 units of Byline N2. And um, uh, for the first purchase of the pre uh, regular card credit was 1,500 credits. And if we move to the middle, middle East, Saudi Arabia, and uh, we have a Riyadh municipality. And they have been our old customer, actually. And um, in their site, there are all the sperma fingerprint readers. After the COVID-19 pandemic, but they wanted to change their system to the touchless solution. So we suggested the face station too, but due to their traditional clothing for female staff, they're covering uh, their face. So we needed to uh, provide another uh, touchless solution for their female workers. So we suggested face station two with the mobile option and also the mobile access card too. So as a result, for male staff, they use uh, the face, face recognition. But for female workers, they now use the mobile access card. So they successfully converted their system into a touches solution. In this site, uh, we are going to install over 500 units of Face Station 2. And um, there will be uh, 1,500 uh, copies of mobile access cards. And another case reference from Middle East, Bahari Logistics. And um, they also, uh, they're also our long, um, old customer, and they've been using our fingerprint readers. But they also wanted to uh, have touchless solution also that can pre prevent body punching too. But however, it seems that um, they did not have a large budget, so we we decided to suggest XPS2 with the mobile access. Since XPS2 is a cheaper option, and if we compare it to other biometric readers, so they accepted and also they accepted the idea of a mobile access can also prevent body punching because we do not hand over our mobile phone to other people. So they decided to use uh, 50 units of XPS2 and um, five, 750 mobile access cards in their office. Lastly, uh, let's move to the Europe 
And um, Easy Secure is one of our longtime partners from, from the Netherlands. But in Europe, they are now facing difficulties to use biometric time attendance solution in the market due to their new uh, European privacy regulation, so-called GDPR. Under the new regulation, it has become even more difficult to use biometric data. So they've been waiting for our mobile access solution as an alternative solution to avoid the GDPR issue. And now they are working on uh, integrating our mobile access solution into their platform. So they expect the mobile access will work as a major, major credential in their market. So as you can see, uh, the market is uh, beginning to have more cases for the mobile access. And uh, we are now uh, promoting our mobile access solution and to allow more people to experience our new technologies. We're providing some free credits to everyone who purchase our mobile ready readers and create the alpha portal site. There will be a 50 free credits for the regular type card and a one month of free credit for dynamic card. I guess this should be good enough to test and experience our mobile access. So if you want to try our mobile access solution, then please feel free to contact our regional sales manager or your authorized partners in your region. We will be gladly to support you. So it was the end of my presentation and thank you for listening. Uh, like I said, if there is anything unclear, you are, feel, you are uh, welcome to leave any questions and uh, our team will still uh, able to support you to, to answer your questions. Thank you.